My biggest pet peeves when it comes to what I see in social media. She accepted people's money through PayPal. You can't just train your butt for like eight weeks. Hello beautiful human beings. Long time no chat. I know I haven't made a video in a minute and honestly just needed to take a little bit of a break because I'm mostly involved in the fitness industry when it comes to social media and sometimes I just kind of get my fill of it and I need to take a moment, a step back and reset. This video has been inspired by a post I made actually on my Instagram not too long ago about my biggest pet peeves when it comes to what I see in social media in regards to the fitness industry, specifically everything that's targeted towards women and young girls. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Aveda. I make videos all about fitness, health, nutrition, hair sometimes, um, all kinds of things. And this series is my truth series where I talk about subjects that I'm passionate about and just give my most honest opinion. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for continuing to check out my videos. I hope you enjoy this one as well. Okay, so the other day, like I said, I posted on my Instagram. I asked you what was the most annoying things that you saw in terms of influencers that you may follow. I follow a lot of influencers and different apparel um, companies online and sometimes I just can't even believe the stuff that I see. Just a little quick background about myself. I'm actually in the process of getting my certification in personal training. I'm very passionate about fitness. I've trained as a bodybuilder. I competed in a figure competition last year. I played competitive roller derby. I currently do CrossFit and you know I've done weightlifting and bodybuilding for many years. One topic that is actually trending right now that is specific to the fitness industry, and if you don't know about it or you haven't heard about it, there's an influencer, her name is Brittany Dawn Fitness. I actually followed her for a little while, but unfollowed her a while ago because I just could not connect or relate. I didn't really appreciate her message when it came to fitness. I feel like there is too many women out there that kind of project or promote disordered eating when it comes to diet and nutrition and this focus on obtaining like a super lean body weight for long periods of time that's just not healthy. Um, obviously we have all this stuff in social media for women that's constantly telling us that we're not thin enough, that we're not fit enough, that we're not good enough, and you know, and all these images and stuff like that being hammered down our throats constantly. So when I see influencers that are doing that and buying into that whole agenda, personally I follow um, a lot more power lifters, CrossFit athletes, people like that that I feel are a lot more relatable and their health and fitness goals and lifestyles are just a lot healthier. So not too long ago, it blew up that this one influencer, Brittany Dawn, she was accepting payments from people for her workout programs. Like there's so many influencers out there these days that have websites, Instagram accounts, and they sell these like pre-made programs or they'll provide you with a customized macro nutrition program or they, they'll do actually one-on-one -on -one coaching with you. Honestly, I always wondered how these coaches could take on so many clients at one time. I currently take clients. Um, and I have been for a couple of years now, and I can only take so many um, to really give them the time and energy that that a client deserves. I don't, I can, you know, there's just a limit on how many that you can take. And I noticed online that these Instagram influencers were, you know, they would have these mass intakes of clients, or they'd be selling all these programs, and it was just like, wow, like they must obviously have a team of people behind them that are like actually communicating with all these people that are buying this stuff but what happened basically is she accepted people's money through paypal for buying all her programs customized programs pre-made programs all of that but then she wasn't actually providing any services and people weren't getting what they asked for and rather than actually reach out and provide automatic refunds because perhaps she wasn't able to 
give them the time and energy that they needed she ended up just ignoring them and so there's like hundreds if not thousands of women who have given her maybe like 100 to 200 dollars for a program or something like that it's truly like it's terrible she basically was scamming tons and tons of women using her image and stuff like that to sell her programs she's as far as i know not educated at all in in nutrition or, or weight training or anything like that. So there's a lot of women out there that do that and that really sucks. And so that's one of my huge pet peeves right now on social media and the fitness industry is all these influencers that claim that they're coaches, but basically they're just trying to make money off of people that will buy these like really not adequate, not well put together programs. It ends up being a bad experience for these people that are actually trying to like change their lives and maybe then they don't want to trust someone else in the future. So, so influencers like that, I, I just see that a lot and, and that leads into my other pet peeve, which really is this whole bikini fucking body promoting program workout things like, Get your bikini body, bikini workout, bikini body building, get your bikini body today, bikini, 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 body, body, body. And it's like, okay, we need to set ourselves free from thinking that we need to look like anything in a bikini and that is what's ruling our focus throughout our lives. There's so much more important things to worry about than having this bikini body and not a single woman looks the same, has the same measurements, is the same height, has the same proportions so how can there be one program that will make all of us perfect in our bikinis i just it's unacceptable at this point for anyone to have a program that's called bikini body program it just automatically tells me that i'm not adequate enough as myself to wear a bikini and trust me all of us can wear a bikini anytime any shape any weight and go in the water and swim it just irritates me that just bothers me so much I just think that as women, it should be our job, especially as women in the fitness industry, to promote confidence, empowerment, acceptance, and not create these categories of what's a, what's acceptable and what's not acceptable in terms of wearing a fucking bikini. Anyway, my next pet peeve is this whole booty obsession and building a better booty, 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 booty on Instagram. Like everybody's all about the booty right now. If you don't have the genetics to have the this booty that you see all the time with women that either have the genetics or plastic surgery to make themselves look like that, like you're not gonna be able to achieve it. It's just like creating these ideas for women that you can transform your body just by working out or by diet. And if you don't achieve that look, then you're it's something that you're doing wrong. I mean, obviously you can do a lot by diet and nutrition. I have, you know, my body has changed a lot over the years by training in a consistent way, by eating in a consistent way. But the whole idea is that to really transform your body, to really, you know, have long-term results, it has to be this long-term consistent lifestyle that you're doing. It's not that you just do an eight week build your booty program and now you have a big round butt. And I've seen that so many times where there's these coaches and influencers selling these programs where you can build your abs, build your butt, and it's not gonna happen in that short period of time. You will get maybe some tools to train that area, but you, can't just train your butt for like eight weeks. You want to have a full encompassing program that focuses on all areas of your body so that you have this like very proportioned, healthy, strong physique, not just like focusing on building a booty. Why do we care so much about our, our butts either? We don't need to care about our butts. Do you know, like if we all took a minute to just think about what messages we're receiving and accepting, about how we need to have a bikini body and a big booty and looks like the in the scheme of the world do you think this is gonna matter when you're on your deathbed when you're older you're gonna think thank goodness i really trained hard and built that booty no build muscle get stronger build your endurance you know 
create awesome goals like how many pull-ups you can do or how many push-ups you can do or swim this many laps or you know do better at your yoga poses like this is stuff that we should be promoting okay moving on to next pet peeve the unspoken discussion about what people are taking in the industry to help achieve these like long-term lean body mass looks um on the one side, you have a lot of females out there that are fitness models that, you know, that is their job to look like that. So they actually have to train multiple hours a day, not just one hour, not just two hours. They're probably training three to four hours, if not more, a day. Plus, they're on a very strict, regimented, restricted diet all the time. That is how they make money is off of their body. So their job is to make sure that they look a certain way. For the average woman who has a job, has kids, you know, has a partner, has family, has a life, that's not achievable. I spent eight hours a day, five days a week in an office. I cannot do anything else while I'm there. I'm sitting at a desk. When I leave the office, I only have so much time to work out. When I did my bodybuilding competition and got to a super lean body weight, that is because I spent 16 weeks completely obsessed with achieving that goal. That meant that I was missing out on social engagement. I was working out on my lunch break. I was working out after work. On weekends, I was working out. I couldn't really spend as much time with my partner. It really affected my hormones. It affected my energy levels and I couldn't do activities like go hiking or go snowboarding because I could risk injury and I had to stay on top of my macros and my cardio and my calories. So that's the reality of looking like some of these people that are out there, but that's never talked about. It's just if you work really hard and you eat really clean, you can look like these people on these magazines, but that's just not reality. So my last kind of pet peeve, I guess, is that a lot of influencers, social media people, YouTube people, that they do their full eating or what they eat in a day, and it's, you know, it actually brings me back to the Britney Dawn Fitness, and I don't mean to be a hater, but I also am just gonna be real with you guys and not like shy away from calling out something that I don't agree with. I mean, from what I've seen from the, her videos that she's done, she eats this like really crazy, restricted, specific diet all the time, same thing all the time. Um, and then she just plugs in sponsorships for different things like whatever coffee and like protein or whatever that she takes. But it's not, doesn't, it's not realistic. It's not healthy. It's not healthy to be obsessive about every single meal and like eating the same thing every day because you're afraid that if you don't, you're gonna like gain weight. Women and humans, it's natural for us to fluctuate in weight. It's good to have goals sometimes to gain weight. For me personally, I'm doing a bulking program right now. That means I have to gain some body fat in order to build muscle and become a stronger human being. And I'm okay with that, but I know a lot of women aren't because we're so programmed to think that we have to be like thin, 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 and lean, 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 and that's, that's successful, and that's like, that's what we all want to be, but that's just, it, it shouldn't be that way. We need more role models in social media right now for women promoting awesome, amazing strength goals, fitness goals, happy life goals, and like good relationships with food and realistic expectations of like what we can achieve and just give each other high fives for just doing the best that we can. As long as we're taking care of ourselves, you know, eating right most of the time, drinking lots of water, focused on goals that are making us happy and excited about fitness. I mean, that's what it's all about. All I ever want from my clients is for them to be empowered about nutrition, be empowered about exercise, find an activity that they freaking love to do and just work hard at that and build goals constantly to like challenge themselves because that's what gives you confidence at the end of the day. When you create a goal for yourself and then you smash it, it's the best feeling in the world. And that should be what we're chasing, not a, a number on a scale or a body weight or a gene size for the love of everything. Like, so, I would love to hear your guys' comments below of your pet peeves. Be brutally honest because there's so much garbage out there. It is ridiculous. And I think we need to start speaking up and saying, no, we're not gonna accept it anymore. 
So yeah, please comment below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because I will be posting more videos. Also hit the notification bell because as you may have noticed, I'm not very routine with my videos. They're a little sporadic. So if you hit the little bell, it'll let you know when my next video is coming up. Okay. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love you guys. Let's keep just spreading positive vibes out into the world because that is what the world needs. Okay. Love you. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next one.